It looks like we're alive, you guys. So we're coming here a little bit early. We've got some uh, new technology that we're in the process of figuring out to bring you uh, dog hugs live. So uh, you're going to get to watch us uh, behind the scenes as we uh, get set up here for our uh, first early podcast. Um, I am now messaging our technology folks to tell them thanks. They're uh, Let's see if it clean yard. We're just trying it out, and I don't know if any of you hey, bring me are uh, able to do that. But supposedly, I'll be able to integrate the chat on Facebook right into this, which would be really awesome. All right. Larry, can you – hold on. I'm going to try to pull this back. Yeah. Hey, so we are, we are live here, Chris. There you are. Yeah, I know. There's what you're this saying. Randy, um, and this Mike, is before the show starts. Uh, Mike, but here we are. Here? I'm trying to find a good spot for Wi Fi. That looks like a really good spot right now. It's starting to, yeah, that's smooth right now, Chris. Okay, well, again, it's flipped around on, on me. <laughs> yeah. I, and, uh, I see Melissa Randall has a, thing, has a comment. Um, is this is this you, Melissa? Yeah, we we are doing great over here. Thank you so much for chiming in. And look at this, we've got a comment from Armando. Hello, Armando. So this is really great that we're able to integrate your live comments right on Facebook. Thank you so much for chiming in. You see. Chris Parandi and Sue Parandi are getting set up. We're going to show a little bit of frisbee. Hey, let's bring up the card. Now I'm way out in the yard. How is it here? Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Am I glitchy? Is it glitchy out Believe here? Believe it or not, it's actually pretty smooth, Chris. Well, Did you guys play I yeah. connected, not direct to my router, but I connected Hi, Maggie. to my extender. Hi, Thanks for checking in. Yeah, here's Spider giving you guys a hug. And Armando saying, "Work afternoon." <laughs> Thanks, man. We're not going to do the poll you, today, but give it a couple of weeks. We'll have to not, go live out here. Get warmer. Now, now it's definite. That was definitely um, glitching, not glitching, but uh, uh, freezing between frames over at the pool. Yeah, well, we're pretty far from that extender. Let's, it's, let's go back it's over. Getting, uh, yeah, and here come can't go too far from the extender then. Armando all the way in from Mexico City. Yes. Come on. Uh, Armando, were you at the conference uh, that I Hi. spoke at uh, a month ago in Mexico City? Let us know. Yeah. Hey, Robbie is back here. Robbie, believe it or not, we're actually live right now. We're live. Oh. Put your clothes on, Robbie. Put your clothes on. Why don't you bring no. up our guest star? <laughs> Robbie. Yeah, we have a guest star with Robbie today. Yeah, I know, Spider. Yeah. Spider's giving me hugs. Ta-da! Who's this, Robbie? This is baby Atlas, my grandson. Hi, Atlas. He's eating a bowl of goldfish. <laughs> is he gonna swim away yes <laughs> yeah. yeah wow oh yeah, well, look nice people Hello. commenting did i say yeah. the name right, the name right sweater i know that's gonna be a pain yeah. in the ass yeah thank you for the safe wishes safe to you too appreciate that you too all right yeah thank you everyone yeah so we really appreciate your comments so uh we're we're sort of testing everything just before we go on air in uh, by my clock three more minutes two and a half more minutes so although it does show we've been live for eight minutes we've been yeah I know why why you were off with that look <laughs> I, I I wanted to test to see if the live button would work and guess what it works we're on live early. yeah so, so you just um, stay live huh we, we just, let's does. just we just stay alive. You guys are seeing the pre-show. You get a bit behind the scenes about, you know, how Are we go together every day. What's that? What's that, Chris? 
I said, yeah, of me drinking coffee so I can get through this. He didn't get you drinking coffee. There we go. Now we got Chris drinking coffee. Cheers. Good job, buddy. We've got a lot of people. I see Melissa Randall and Armando. A lot of people saying hello. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much. Screen. Yeah. You're welcome, Sweta. We've got Thank Alice picking his nose. Why don't we tell him what's happening today? Get, get, get people excited. Is that a dog trick, Atlas picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> this is live TV, folks. TMI. <laughs> Too much information here. So, so you better give him food. He'll get his finger out. <laughs> this is famous. This is where we do dog training. You know, typically, you know, we are uh, hand around. If you were with us last week. We are actually in the studio typically doing some dog tricks. So uh, give you guys a little show right now, a little impromptu show here while we get set. It's set up right there. So come on, Spider. Let's give the guys a show. Come on. Get on it. Good boy. Oh, had a boy, Spider. Yeah. This is called footsies. You know, at some point, actually, I'll give you a little quick lesson here on how to do cool, the first part of the trick. Back, back, spider. Go back. Back, back. Well, that's cute. Let's take a bow. So, go back. He loves footsie. Stay. Wait. So, the first part of the trick is called peekaboo. And it's luring a dog right between your legs. And once the dog can get on your legs, you start moving your toes in little by little and lure your dog right up on your feet. Now I'm obviously speeding it up. Now start wiggling your toes little by little, and now you can start walking. And that's how you do footsies in one minute. I know that it takes probably weeks, you know, maybe cool. even longer than that to master that, but that, that gives you an idea about how it's done. All right, so come on up here, Spider. Good job, buddy. Thank you, Armando. We know, be safe and wash your paws. Thank you. Hey, so it's noon. Let us start the show. Come on, Spider. You know where your position is to start the show. That's right, a big dog hug. All right, um, Chris and Sue, I'm going to put you guys in the green room. And um, uh, how you doing, Robbie? Who you at? I'm doing yeah. well. And yourself? Yeah. Well, really, really good. This always gives me such a great structure for my day. I know that you know, in these times of those of you at home who are quarantining uh, or getting ready to quarantine, you know, creating a structure for me has been a big challenge. And um, being able to share uh, my world with you guys and involve you, that, that really gives me structure, organization to the day. So, uh, yeah, we, as you know, a new credit for the show is uh, Dog Hugs. And uh, you see my new oh. favorite emoji. Do you guys have a favorite emoji? Well, I'm going to show you my new favorite emoji. Oh, no, man. Because I've no never one seen that. Looks like a hug. You know, and so the title of the show is Dog Hugs. So the snowman is my new favorite emoji. Um, uh, do you guys? Uh, have right. a favorite emoji? Let's see. Oh, look at all these beautiful comments. Yeah, we've got some great comments for you. Um, My favorite emoji is a poodle. Dog. Show us your cattle dog, uh, Vanessa. We'd love to put, yeah, we'd love to put them on screen. And Armando says, be safe and wash your paws. Uh, yeah, yeah, try, yeah, try that trick, Armando. Thank Send us a video you. if it works. You and Sweta in Mauritius, like uh, Vanya, que bonito goste. This uh, this looks like Portuguese to me, right? Am I right there? I, and I don't speak po Portuguese, so anyhow, thank you so much for uh, joining us wherever you are in the country, wherever you are in the world. Um. So. Um, to give us inspiration, uh, Spider's got a uh, trick to uh, show you. 
So I'm going to show you uh, spiders, a little bit of inspiration from spider. Go ahead. There you go. Yep, spider says, keep your spider. eyes on the ball. Hoodie. Big ball. That's right. Very good. Very good. So stop the screen share. We're back over here. Um, this week's shelter shout out is a really special shelter. Uh, here in ah, I heard that, Addy. Uh, right here. In called the Wallace Annenberg Pet Clinic. And a big, big shelter shout out to you. Some months ago, back in June, uh, Spider and I got to perform at Wallace Annenberg's Pet Space. First anniversary adopter reunion. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have a great trainer from uh, Pet Space, and that's Katie McGuire, who has done some of Spider's training. So let me see how we get back to this. There we go. All right. So uh, next up, we've got the uh, Supermodel of the Week contest. And for those of you who don't know what the Supermodel of the Week is, it's our, it's our special way of honoring uh, dogs. Robbie's going to say a little bit more about it in a moment, but um, that's right, yeah. Spider. But first of all, let's see who is our supermodel of the week this week. And it is banana. <laughs> so that's really great. Congratulations. You'll be in our banner all week on our Facebook page. Uh, and now, in addition to Banana, there are some finalists. What do you Banana's co-finalists are? We got 2020 and Zeus. Who else? Tala. Love those ears, Tala. And Gunner. Looks like you're having a birthday. Happy birthday, Gunner. Happy birthday. Those are our Supermodel of the Week finalists. Um, Robbie, tell the folks how the Supermodel of the Week contest works. So what people do is they send a picture, put it on our Facebook page, along with your dog's name, and then all week long, people vote on the photo. Right. Yeah. 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 And the, dog that, the dogs that get the most votes are the ones that make it to the top five. And the top vote earner, that's the one who gets to be the supermodel of the week. And we get some adorable photos. Always some great photos. And we just love seeing your guys' photos every week. We've been running this contest for a number of years. And um, uh, we've just had a really, really fun time doing that. Um, another thing that we do at Positively Woof and that actually Robbie is really responsible for is our pet holiday calendar. Now, March has been a great month for pet holidays, right, Robbie? It has. I keep muting and unmuting myself because Atlas is just <laughs> carrying on a conversation. <laughs> uh, well, we'll, we'll I mean, have March, we we'll had a guest host and we'll interview him. <laughs> yeah, really. We had Poison Prevention Awareness Month, which is so important for pet parents. Adopt a Rescued Guinea Pig Month, which we loved. And Great. then the one that was really fun was March 3rd, if pets had thumbs days. So that was a fun <laughs> then we, we honored pet sitters the first week of March. National Puppy Day was March 23rd. And then National oh, Respect Your Cat Day on the 28th. N National and what Cat Day? Respect Your Cat Day. And I can tell you, as the owner of a house full of cats, I respect them every day because of their claws. <laughs> Amen. Robbie, how many cats do you have? Only three right now. 
Only three. Only. I keep thinking we should be fostering a few right now, but I don't know. That might happen. Yeah. Yeah. That. All right. Well, we'll let you guys know what's coming up in uh, in April, um, and then you can also sign up for this week in Woof newsletter that will give you a sneak peek on all the holidays. So, uh, Robbie, uh, send the folks a link to this week in Woof uh, newsletter there in the chat. I will do that. Okay. And then um, I'm now going to bring on our special guests today. And if you were here early, you got to see them already. We've got coming to you live from Northern California, Rondi, and I think Sue is behind the uh, camera. And uh, Chris, who you got there with you today? We have Mozzie again. <laughs> Mozzie. Hey, we're going to do a follow-up with this monster. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, Spider's saying hello to Mozzie. What a handsome hey, dude. <laughs> yeah. So you know what? I'm going to uh, first uh, play a little instructional video that uh, we tried to do last week. Uh, you did some great work with Mozzie. Uh, showing how to throw a disc, and then we'll we'll come back we'll come back to uh, for some more stuff. Or or do you, or do you want to start with Mozzie first here? Video. Yeah, go ahead. Show the video. First. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the video first. Okay, so this will be a couple of minutes, you guys. I think you really enjoy this video. Uh, some great instruction if you are fortunate enough to have a yard. And then we'll come back to uh, Chris, and he's going to show you some other great things that you can do. And and Chris, you, you're welcome to speak over this video if you want to say anything additional to what you're saying on screen here. All right, so here we go. I think I'll just wait and let him hear what I say there. Yeah. Instagram, show. We'll go to our website at stuntdogshow.com. I'm going to show you today how to get your dog started in the sport of flying discs. Are you ready, Mozzie? All right. Let's go. Let's start by getting our dog interested in the disc by moving it along the ground, encouraging him to grab it and play a little game of tug of war. Make it fun for your dog. Let him know that it's a toy and it's not something to be scared of. Again, we're using the arrow to the disc. I love them because they're rubber around the edges, so they're real safe for my dog. Um, they also hold up real good, probably like 10 times longer than any disc I've found. Um, we start rolling the disc to really build their drive, getting them to go out and go after it. Then I try to get them to come back to the one that I have in my hand. Now, if you're having trouble getting your dog to come back, get a little more animated. The more animated you are, the more excited your dog's going to be. Mozzie there. I, as you noticed, got a little distracted because I was talking, so I got to stay engaged with them. Mozzie, go after it. Let's get it. Come on, right here. Come on, Mozzie. Come on, Mozzie. Come on, Mozzie. And you'll get this one. And it comes back to the board. Yes. Got to make it super exciting. The next step is trying to get him to catch this thing. So I position him off to the side and a curtain. Just out of my hand. Always put my fingers on the opposite side. And he grabs. Hey, buddy. Nice job, buddy. There we go. Oh, no, you left it. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Get it, get it, get it. Mozzie's still going through that phase where he doesn't like to pick it up if it's not moving. So we're still working on building that side. Pretty soon, I think it'll put a little cross on the bottom and we'll catch it. We just started doing it about a month ago. Yeah, good one, buddy. Way to pull it in. Well, you missed it. Go around. He just learned to go around my legs. Go out for a nice catch. Good job, Mozzie. Come bring it here. Bring it here, buddy. Bring it here all the way. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it. Yes. Come on. Yes. That's how it's done. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah. That was fantastic, Chris. Thank you so much for sending it. Um, hey, I see your uh, RV in the background. What's yes, that is. That's that's what you guys travel the country in, right? It is when we're uh, we're not on a quarantine. Yeah, when we're not on quarantine, <laughs> right? Yeah. In our van, we take both vehicles on the road. Um, we go all across the country performing with our dogs um, and educating and inspiring people. Right on. Uh, to do our dogs at home, of course. Uh, that's and, and to adopt dogs from pounds and shelters. Amen, and 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 brother. Yeah. And speaking of rescue dogs, Mozzie here is a rescue, and as we introduced him last week um and you saw that video he could tell he's loving that flying disc it's now become one of his favorite toys and so now that it's his favorite toy we can start using it as the lure to shape other fun behaviors for example we're working on teaching them to spin and he'll just follow that toy using it as a lure i'll lure him into the position <laughs> he's going to jump 
Yeah. He loves that disc. Down. What's that? He loves that disc. Oh, he does. He does. He's been pretty patient here this morning for a seven-month-old puppy. Yeah. Pressed, to be honest. So right now I'm going to give him a verbal cue. Um, I'm just I'm just using the, the the disc as a lure, having him follow it, and then as he follows it, he gets the, gets that toy. Now what I'll start doing though is I'll start putting a a cue spin. You know, get the toy as a reward, and then Vinci, he will go on that cue. <laughs> Yes, very good boy. And do be careful if your dog's biting at it because they can't get your fingers, so be careful. Um, but we always try to take it one step at a time and try to teach them at also the basics of not grabbing the disc unless we tell them to get it. So, for example, get, get, just like that. So he won't want me to get the toy unless I give him the cue. Come on, Mozzie, come here. Very good boy. Oh, here we go. Yes, get it. Yeah, good boy. Excellent job. Now, we can also use luring to lure him for other fun tricks, too, um, which you can see... Uh, in our book, we have lots of fun tricks that we use luring to go over. And I'm sure throughout the year, we'll definitely give you good insights on all of them. This here is the figure eight. He's just following the toy and getting the toy as a reward. I went a little long there, so he got a little distracted. So I want to keep it a little, little shorter. So at first, at first through here, reward. Then what I'll start doing, I'll get him go through here, have him keep following it, and then he'll get the reward over here. Anything you'd like to add, Larry? Oh, that was really great. Um, yeah, Chris, you, know, you do mention in our our book, and um, we're proud to say that we we won a big award for the book. Um, we won the first ever Dog TV Dog Writers Association of America Canine Enrichment Award, and um, uh, I was honored to be able to uh, be in uh, New York at the time that the award was uh, given on behalf of half of both of us and behalf of Suhei, who's running the camera as well. Um, and Spider's in the book. Mozzie's not in the book, but a uh, whole bunch of you What's that? He wasn't he was, born yet. <laughs> he wasn't even born yet, right? Nope. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, great. So um, Chris and Suhei want to wish you guys a really healthy and safe week. <laughs> We look forward to checking in again with you next Monday. Excellent. Well, we look forward to it, Larry. All right. You take care, Chris. And hi to everybody that uh, signed in. Thanks, guys, for signing in and, and uh, watching with us, man. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Bye, you guys. All right. Let's get Robbie back in here. That, that was great. How's Addy doing there? He's getting a little bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know, he's rubbing he's, his eyes a little bit. He's been so good just sitting oh, here and watching he, everything that's going on the screen. He, he's got as much and growling like a bear attention span and <laughs> yeah, yeah, growling and picking like his bear. nose and picking his nose. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. I want to put up your wonderful comments. First, of course, oh, I've got to give a shout out to my uh, sister that she's going to go try that trick. Thanks, Leslie, for uh, Mama. Two Mama. And, Mama. Uh, a nice wow from Sweat. Yeah. Just thank you so much. And gosh, I wish I could uh, uh, read uh, uh, Portuguese. Um, but thank you for checking in, uh, Vanya. Um and Mary, we had a question from Haley wanting to know if those tricks can work with other toys. Oh, great question, Haley. We love those tricks. So the idea that Chris is, was showing uh, so well was how we lure a dog uh, with something that motivates our dog. Now, Spider is happens to be really motivated by treats. So I can lure him with a treat right here. In fact, I'm going to around into the studio and show you how a little bit of luring works. Um, so you could do it with us. With, with treats, treats. Every day I push out some of Spider's dog food to put with, with, with candy, but this is, you know, high quality food. <laughs> now, if your dog uh, Haley specifically asks, you know, what about other toys? Well, absolutely. If your dog has a favorite plush toy, 
that is a great way to, to go. I'm not going to squeak up squeak uh, one of uh, Spider's plush toys right now because he goes absolutely bonkers when I uh, uh, use a squeaky. He just we cannot focus on anything else. Come on, come on up here, get up. And so I lured him first into this dog hug position and little by little, you know, it became a hand cue. This is the hand cue. So there you go and then just go give a hug. Yeah, so great question. Thank you for asking that, um, uh, Haley. We love those questions. You know, let us know if there are things that you guys would like to see on future shows. It really helps us guide this as we learn, because uh, this show is really about our connecting as we all, in my judgment, really want connection. You know, as we're learning how to be in isolation or get ready to be in isolation. So um, let's see, anything else that, that uh, you want to say at this point, Robbie? I can't really think of anything. I know Eric is getting a little bit antsy. <laughs> well, Atlas <laughs> for withstanding all of this. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Keep a little kiss. Bye, Addy. <laughs> He's doing Look great. And, oh, um, blowing kisses. <laughs> very good. And, and a big, big hug to you guys again. Oh, and, I love that. And because uh, that's our show here. And um, so big hug. Come on, Spider. Let's give one last hug. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, bye, you guys. Have, bye, have everybody. a safe day. See you tomorrow. <laughs>